Today, we are looking at the rear seats and cargo area of this 2024 Dodge Durango RT Premium. Is the three-row Dodge the best Dodge to get? Let's go ahead and find out. Now let's take a look at the second row of the Dodge Durango. This is the whole point of buying a Durango. You need a lot of space in the second and third rows. Let's see what you get. The door panel will be basically the same. You get the camouflaged out trim, leather, and a little bit of a door pocket down below. No sunshades will be available. Taking a look at the seats, these will be perforated leather with heating, but they only recline and do not slide. Inside the Durango, I actually have a good amount of legroom, and they even cut out part of the front seat to give me even more. You also have a netted seat back pockets, and down here, you have two USB ports, a household style outlet, two vents right here, and controls for my heated seats. Now up here, we have the third zone of climate control, which is kind of strange that they didn't put it down here. Kind of reminds me of an airplane, and you can control it just like this. It's strange not having a screen to see what exact temperature it is. Maybe they could integrate it into the knob itself, but you just change your modes just with that knob and change the fan speed with the knob right here. Down here, I have a center console and a little storage tray. I would like to see them add a little bit of a cubby for the third row passengers. When it comes to the third row, this is the whole point of buying a Durango. You need the extra space for the rest of your family. So you're just gonna pull on this lever and then pull on the red strap and that will lift the seat out of the way. Now you have easy access into the third row. When it comes to bed broom, I'm actually pretty comfortable. I have a little bit of space. The thigh support is not that bad, but it is pretty bad. But amenities are not plentiful. I have a plastic covered armrest, a cup holder, and the same on the other side. No USB ports or anything like that. Taking a look at the cargo area, let's see how much space the, the Dodge Durango has. To open it up, you're just going to pull on that latch and that will power open the tailgate. Taking a look at how much space we have, it's not that much, but it is better than some of the competition like Toyota Highlander, GMC Acadia. You do also have a storage cubby on the left side and folding down the third row is not that easy. If you pull on that latch, that will fold down the headrests and then you're just gonna push down. That will give you even more space, but if you want the maximum amount of space, about 83 cubic feet, you're going to have to fold down the second row manually. To close up the trunk, just push the button and then run away. 